Hello everyone, welcome to With Love Tarot. Today I'll be doing your nightly tarot reading for your overall energies and messages. Please give me the overall energies and messages for my viewers and subscribers. Give me the... Thank you all for watching. Okay. Lovely. So some of you, we have the Ace of Swords. Some of you um, are going to be receiving a message of some sort. This is my top three card for if I want to know if somebody's going to contact me. This is almost always a yes. Um, you could be learning the truth about something as well. This is also a positive omen um, that whatever situation you're in, there will be a victory for you. Okay, so uh, in your past energies, we have the Six of Swords. Some of you could have um, left a situation, a relationship, um, because it was no longer serving your highest good. This could also talk about, for some of you out there, um, long distance relationships. Some Somebody is uh, coming to visit you or you're visiting somebody. This could also talk about go, uh, traveling or going on a journey of some sort. Um, I like to point out that whatever journey this is, um, there, the water is calm. This could talk about going, leaving something and going into calmer waters, a more peaceful situation. Coming into your, hello Raja, coming into your present energies, we have the Three of Cups. Wonderful energy. This talks about celebrations. I mean, this is the card of pleasure in this deck. Um, she's surrounded by luscious tropical fruit. There's flowing water everywhere. It's really just a beautiful, beautiful feeling. I think of, sometimes when I get this card, I think of like resort or spa day type of thing, celebration, going to parties. Wonderful. Um, in your future energies, we have the Five of Wands. This can sometimes talk about some of you out there are um, having to compete in something, okay? Um, I love how this card depicts the Five of Wands. We have one person on the, it's basically they're playing tug of war. Um, and I like to point out though that this is usually, um, this could be like play fighting or, you know, kind of um, fighting in good nature, um, competing in sports. Maybe just even a good spirited competition such as chess came to mind for somebody out there. Something like that. Um, this is never something that signifies a, a serious fight for me. This could be about bickering in relationships um, as well. I'm going to clarify each card to see what other energies and messages we can get. Please clarify the Six of Swords, Three of Cups, and Five of Wands. Almost done. Okay. All right. So we have the Nine of Swords, guys, clarifying the Six of Swords. Some of you could have been really stuck in your head about a decision. Um, I'm getting a several different messages here. Some of you weren't, weren't or are not sleeping well at night. This is the um, sometimes paralysis by overanalysis. Um, this person has their hands on their head, like they are really in a stressful situation. This could talk about nightmares as well, feeling guilt about something. 
Some of you out there for, um, walked away from a situation or this could even indicate a breakup that's leaving you feeling uh, just really stressed at night. Um, this could talk about missing somebody too, missing somebody who left, missing somebody who moved, maybe you moved and you're feeling um, in your head about something, lonely um, and can't sleep well. Three of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Cups. Um, now this is coming into your present, so we have some more positive energy, which is great. This talks about working with others, collaborating, collaborating with others, um, getting something off the ground. Um, either way, there's going to be people that are surrounding you and you're going to get help of some sort. Um, so perhaps leaving this more negative energy and coming into this, um, which is a great sign, perhaps even, um, we have a lot of threes here. We have another three coming up. So this indicates to me that, that there is definitely um, maybe going to be um, several people involved here working on something. Three of Wands clarifying the Five of Wands. Um, three of Wands is my ships coming in card. This person is waiting for a return on something that either he set out or just waiting, waiting for a message, um, which you will get, waiting for a person to come back, um, waiting on a return of some sort. Um, this is usually a good sign that you will get it. Um, perhaps you are waiting for some, after a competition of some sort, you're waiting um, for a positive return on it. Maybe you got into a fight or a quarrel with somebody and you're waiting for them to return. I'm going to take one more card to see uh, one final message and kind of seal the reading. Please give me one more card for my viewers and subscribers. Please give me one more card. Beautiful. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you out there um, are going to get a return of some sort um, if you're waiting for it. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with. Um, Queen of Pentacles, like the King of Pentacles, knows how to make wealth, manifest money. She's good with assets. Um, you, Some of you guys out there could be really focused on building wealth, uh, focused on your career, um, or even just dealing with somebody who's... Um, more of a stable influence in your life. One wonderful energy. Thank you all so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful day. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with love. Bye.